in this question we have two principle and we have one explanation now the principle over here explains to us as to when a person will be liable for abetment that is a person abets the doing of a thing who instigates or engages with one or more other person or persons in any conspiracy for the doing of that thing or intentionally aids the doing of that thing right now principle 2 on the other hand explains to us that for the purpose of abetment it is not necessary that the act abetted should be committed right or that the requisite to constitute the offense should be caused now the explanation which is appended with the principle lets us know that abetment to cause abetment is completely an offense right now let's read the facts now through abetted Manav to instigate Rajan Manav in turn instigated Rajan to kill Ajay Rajan being Ajay's personal secretary was aware about his daily movement one morning while Ajay was alone Rajan caused an RDX filled box to be delivered to him Although Ajay opened the box, but it did not blow off due to high moisture content. Who all can be held liable for abetment? In this question, the correct answer out of all the four options is B. Dhruv and Mana will be held liable for the offence. Now, if we read the principle properly and if we read the principle and explanation together, we get to know that Dhruv and Mana both are liable for the offence of abetment right now however Rajan what Rajan has done is that he has committed the final act that is attempt to murder but he has not abetted now in the principle 1 or principle 2 murder has not been defined right or let's say the liability for murder has not been given so we cannot say that Rajan will be held liable why because Rajan has committed the act on the other hand Trov and Manav are the ones who have abetted the offense right so clearly the correct answer is b that is dhruv and manav have committed the offense